dude. People come here early in the morning with their cell phones. I think when they're having like affairs on, on their, their spouses. Cause I, I've even showed up here and I, I, I hear people on phones and they're always looking around and somebody told me, this is where you're coming, uh, to talk to your, uh, your, whatever you want to call it, your, uh, your affair person or something like that. So every time I show up here, I'm always like, Oh, oh naughty, naughty. <laughs> On, really who does that hey everybody it's pop can dan wow look at this place <laughs> i am back here at bon echo provincial park i'm a little quiet this morning because uh everyone's still sleeping i don't want to wake people up but so anyway check this out i think you've seen in my other videos this beach stretches all the way down there it goes all the way across to the other end it is all sand last time i was here i found five rings five rings um it's phenomenal it's such an awesome place it's, anyways let's get in the water see what we get all right i got a slamming signal i just got it out of the hole um it's in here Twenty three, twenty four, solid Right there. All right, let's do this all in one shot. We got a loony, I think. I think we got a loony. Old oh, man. Oh, it's not a loony. What is that? Found. What the heck? It's a tag. Some kind of tag it says found. Yes, I did find it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me expand that here. All right. That is weird, man. Found. It's a tag that says found. What was found? I want to know. Well, I mean, I know I found this, but. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, that is super weird, man. Found. I have no idea what that means. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> All right, looks like we got our first uh, ring. Uh, might be a tow ring, it looks kind of small. The uh, the guy cleaning the beach is coming by here, so I better hurry up. All right, there he goes, grading the beach. I better get my button gear before he comes over here. Check this out, man. Where are we? There we are, look at this. What do we got here, what do we got? Oh, it's a ring. Yeah, we got a ring, we got a ring. Very nice, I don't think it's a... Uh... I'm not sure if it's silver or not. It's pretty light. It might be a junker. Hold on. All right, let's walk it over to the water and clean it together. I think it's already a junker. It looks silver, but I think I see kind of like a copper uh, underlie, underlay on it. So here, let's... Uh... Sure, it looks pretty though. Let me get a close-up on it. I don't think I'm going to get a good focus on it right now, but looks silver underneath... You can see there's brass right there. So it's a junker, but hey, man, it's <laughs> always fun finding a ring regardless. All right, so I was up here. I was waiting for the uh, for the guy just to go by with the, um, the grate cleaning the beach. And as I walk down after he goes, I swing at my detector, and I look. And as I looked, I swung, and I saw it before, before I got the beep. That was just sitting like that. That's hilarious. Right after he graded it. I guess it flipped it back up. So let's see what it is. I haven't even looked at it yet. Ugh. Ah, just a regular quarter. Regular quarter. There you go. Hey, man. It's 25 cents. 25 cents more than I had one minute ago. All right. That's where, my, that's where I just found that quarter. 
I walked about four more feet and I got another signal here. I should have videoed it, but I went down to the water's edge and just cleaned it up. <laughs> Look at that. We got another quarter. Must have been a spill. Somebody must have didn't done the old um, flipping of the beach towel and off came everything. The rings, the coins, everything. <laughs> All right. Look at, look at this. That's camping here for you, man. That is camping here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to sign off from this small quick hunt, maybe an hour and a half on this beach. Um, I don't have my tripod, so I, it looks like, yeah, I am reaching for the funny the people down there. If you can see them walking. Um, the daughter just came up. She goes, I wish I had a metal detector. She's about four years old. And I said, well, maybe dad will get you one for Christmas. <laughs> Always planting the seed. That's, you got to be doing that, man. Anyways, I'm going to show you my finds. Uh, not a lot of great stuff, but you know what? It is what it is, man. I, and, and it's funny because when I come here every year camping, I always say when I leave or before I got here, somebody was here with a metal detector. After I leave, somebody's here with a metal detector. It just, it's all constant. I talked to some people at the park and they said, there's always people here with metal detectors all the time. So, you know what? I don't expect to come here and find everything. But um, one thing you do need to know, and you've heard it in my videos from last year, uh, camping up here, you need permission from the superintendent of a provincial park uh, if you're going to metal detect. Uh, and they only allow you on the beach or in the water. So you have to have written permission. Just letting you know that in advance, uh, folks, if you're watching the video, all right? You can't just walk on here with detectors. I don't think many people do ask for it. I do, because uh, that's what they ask you to come ask for permission. Okay, let's get into the finds. Uh, I'll show you very quickly. It's a quick little wrap up. Okay, so I, I was on the beach. So I was using the Equinox 800. Uh, I'm not set up for the water. I still have just the land. Uh, just land headphones. So there she is. Yep. Um, I do use my in the water. I use my AT Pro because I am set up in the water with the AT Pro. And I like both, man. I love uh, Mind Lab and I love Garrett. And nobody's going to tell me I can ever have just one or the other. So, anyways, back to the finds. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? My finds pouch. And we start with, oh, yeah, there. Look at that. Classic. Classic number two. Classic number three. Classic number four, number five. Okay, so we had five of those good times, eh? Always, man, they give you a, when that goes off, you think you've got a gold ring every time. It's just such a clean beep because, it, you know, it's got the roundness. It's got a hole in it. it the, you know, I, what do they call it? The conductivity just bang. It just, you know, it, the, it just pops. Uh, so then we got one penny, two penny, three pennies, uh, nothing spectacular about those you're not going to find um by the way you're not going to find a lot of old stuff here this is um this place only opened technically in 1965 uh there's been activity here since uh, 1900 but um that's probably more on the land and yeah and we're not allowed to detect there so unfortunately um two quarters and these, it was funny because these two quarters one I got, and then the next one, I had to wait for the guy to go by uh, who was grading the sand with the ATV, and he went by, and then as I went to swing, just before it, my, my detector went over, I saw this quarter in the sand, and I'm like, oh, hey, boop. <laughs> so I think it was a spill because these two were very close to each other. And then this here, this is really funny, man. Let me uh, Let me grab this. I thought it was a loony. I thought it was just an old, rusty, uh, old loony. But upon closer inspection, I, then I thought maybe it's a dog tag, but it's not a dog tag. But there's a hole there. And then the word found is written on it, which is really weird because uh, I found it. And it says found. I was excited. It actually said what I did. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Anyways, my find of the day right here, uh, it's not silver. It's silver plated. You can see underneath there's copper. But I tell you, anytime you pop a ring in the sand... Uh, and it, it, you see it sticking half out of the sand. Boy, it always gives you a thrill, man, every time. All right, folks, that's it. Uh, that was fun. Um, I'm got, there's another beach over there. There's another one behind me. And there's another one further down. So there's, technically there's four beaches that I'm going to do uh, with the AT, sorry, with the Mind Lab Equinox. So I'm going to probably put out four videos. If not, if I don't have enough content, I'll just 
combine them all together. So if you see me wearing one shirt in one video and one in the other, don't think I'm cheating or nothing. It's just, I, you know, there wasn't enough good content. So I'm just combining some of them together. Anyways, that's it. Um, I got a lot of water video coming up too. Oh my gosh, man, I'm all over the water. So, and I've, I've already found some really cool stuff. All right, Popcat Dan signing off. We'll see ya.